The 318 eastbound to Wainwright pulls a long load of oil and autos as it rumbles through Irma, a village of 500 named after the daughter of William Wainwright, a high-ranking railway man and home to Irma High School. Meanwhile, the 865 westbound from Saskatoon carries potash as it rolls through Chauvin, a village of 300, also named after a railroad official and home to Susie, the world's largest softball. Soon that train will be here in Edgerton, a village of 400, named after H.H. H. Edgerton, you guessed it, a railroad official. It's home to Ribstone Creek Brewery and today, home to the first ever high school grow your own skills event in Edgerton, hosted by all three of the ice villages, Irma, Chauvin, and Edgerton. Unique to this event, each of the skill stations are being taught by alumni from this area. Small, medium, and large. Many of them attended this very same high school. Being able to bring back our alumni from the school, it's exciting for them. They're all passionate for their careers. The vast majority of them are currently working in rural Alberta. I was born and raised kind of Kinsella Viking area. Dr. Kate Overbo is teaching suturing. Trying to encourage people from these areas to come back to these areas, um, it's so much easier, I think, in general than trying to attract somebody who's never experienced small town living. It's nice to be able to start at the grassroots in the high schools, so you know, to inspire those people to go out, get the career, and bring it back this way so we have these services. Ace Shin grew up skateboarding in Edgerton. Today, he's an x-ray lab tech in Fort Vermilion, nine hours north of here. When that hamlet needed expert advice on designing a new skateboard park, they came to him. Within two years, the town was already asking me, hey, like, do you want to maybe build a skate park in town? Like, we'll fund it if you go and get it contracted. That's something that he feels would have never happened in a larger center. In a rural community versus a city, it's like everyone has like a little bit of their own voice that's more distinct. We want to introduce one mil of air in because we're pulling out one mil of liquid. The alumni shared stories of their successful careers in healthcare and why they love rural practice. I love practicing rurally as an RN. It's a fun challenge and you're always learning. You might find that you might enjoy it just like I did. I love physio so much and you know in rural Alberta there's so much opportunity for it. Move it around and try to get different areas of the muscle until it twitched and you pull out, you're done. No healthcare jobs exist in any of the ice villages, but plenty do in larger centers in the area, like Vermilion, Viking, Lloydminster, and Wainwright. Some of the 53 students here today have already decided to pursue a career in healthcare, while others are still checking out all their options. Either way, they all thought it was a day well spent. You're gonna make a couple of loops. Oh, it's really good, learning lots. I like the sutures and doing the IV. Yeah, because I want to be a nurse, so. <laughs> it just helps to see like what else is out there to do in the world. This is going to be a day that will help inspire them, and I, I want to follow that through the next few years and see where they go. My guess is they're going to come back to rural Alberta. That's my hope. That's my dream. Good job.